Hey guys, Kurt with Time Machine Transport over here by JJ's Truck Stop in Arkansas, mile marker 106 on I-30. I'm heading uh, Morency, Arizona, and then I'm heading on over to Phoenix. I got two par two parcels, two wood chippers, and some copper bars. I picked up an Erie PA, Smock PA, and then Hanover, West Virginia. Anyways, I still got like about 1,100 miles to go, and I am, uh, I got my ELD unplugged, as you can see in the background. Anyways, I just, uh, I'm out here to make money, man. I'm not, people think that we, um, you know, it's all about sunsets and sunrises and everything else, but that's not true. Um, I'm out here to make money, man. I mean, I don't have time to, it, I mean, it's nice to have fun on the road, but I'm out here to make money, man. Straight, straight cash. I mean, that's if I can run with my ELD off to make up time so I can get delivered and pick up the next load, then that's what I do. I got my own authority, so I, so we we dispatch, you know, our or we we look for and get our own loads from brokers. But anyways, shout out to my cousin Dan out there, and my baby girl, I love you, and my mom, I love you, and all my other fr friends, family, and brothers and sisters that are subscribed to the channel. Anyways, I get in here last night to get some fuel. Uh, and then I spend the night. And uh, so, uh, look at that guy. Wear that mask, monkey. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, 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 ah. That's what the video is about. So, anyways, I get my medical tag and I go in there to get my fuel receipt. About I get here about midnight ish. And I see the gal behind the counter is not wearing a mask. I'm like, right on. So I take my take my tag off my permit. Ah, there's another monkey. Yeah. You guys see that? I hope you do. Fucking ridiculous. Anyways, yeah, wear that mask, monkey. Wear that mask, monkey. Ooh, ooh. Anyway, so I get in here last night, <clears throat> early this morning, and she's not wearing a mask, so I'm like right on it going to get my fuel receipt. I figure it might be a third thing, a third shift thing. Maybe she's required to wear it, but she doesn't because there's nobody supervising it. Nope. I get my tag this morning, stop here in the fuel aisle to get some coffee after I thump my tires and get ready and everything. And uh, they're not wearing masks in there. So I was like, right on. So, and I, 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 I from what I've heard, Arkansas is a hot spot. So uh, that's very, very re refreshing. And if you drive semi and you're subscribed to the channel, please stop at JJ's I-30. I'm like, I'm not too far from Texarkana. Um, I-30, mile marker 106, man. And uh, it's very refreshing to see. And I even, I, I told the people in Missouri when I was there that weren't wearing masks. And I just told these ladies here, I'm like, you know, it's very refreshing to see people that don't have to, that, that you guys aren't wearing masks. And, uh, God, it's so sad, man. God, it's just disgusting. So, anyways, and then I, I did a video before this one, but it was kind of long, and there was three other truck drivers. One guy had a, he had difficulty, literally, you can see he was struggling, walking from his semi over here with his shower bag. And then they got a restaurant here and a lot of parking. So if you drive semi stop over here, if you're if you're uh, if you're in Arkansas, anyways, the guy's struggling carrying his fucking bag, and he's wearing a mask the whole time from his rig over to the building, dude. And then they had another driver at the fuel aisle, same thing, and then so on and so on and so on. And this guy here, still wearing his mask like a good fucking monkey. Ridiculous, man. Anyways, tour, uh, if, you, if you drive semi, you should always carry ice in your truck. And I, like I said, I got a fridge and everything, so it's nice. And my wife cooks and so on and so on. That's I got the best wife ever. Anyways, um, I tore my knee up when I was in West Virginia, Hanover. Uh, it was a Tuesday night. Today's Thursday, uh, the 6th of August. So they didn't load me until like 11 p.m. I didn't get finally loaded until 11 p.m. in West Virginia up in the mountains. And it's hairy driving out there. I think I shut down about 3 in the morning. Anyways, I was on my trailer, and I was I was chaining the, the wood chipper, and I went to grab, I grabbed this cover. I thought it was, it was fixed to the wood chipper. 
and I kind of used it as I went back to run my chain over the axle and the fucking cover came off and I tore my damn knee up. So if you drive semi, um, you know, keep keep freezer or keep ice bottles in your freezer or keep water bottles in your freezer so they'll freeze and then always carry an ace bandage and a knee brace and all kinds of stuff. So anyways, I, I think, and it's, I mean, I'm glad it's not on my clutch leg. If I were in an automatic, it'd be different, but thank goodness it's not on my clutch leg. So anyways, um, I hope this video finds you well. Please like and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to stop at JJ's mile marker six, I 30, no mask required. Ciao.